Uh, like the provost, I and so many uh, farmers in my organization have had similar experiences. My wife, Kara, and I have been fighting for equality and debt relief for farmers of color since the 80s. Like the provost, we just want to be able to hold on to our land so we can continue farming. As farmers, we know that land ownership is the most powerful tool you could possess. If you don't own any land, you don't own any power. Farming is an integral part of our past, present, and future. And having the means to continue farming, food justice, and food sovereignty, I am proud to work with public justice to honor tonight the provost with this much needed and deserving award. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Forgive us, we're a bit nervous. Uh, we're country folk. Uh, <laughs> um, but we want to thank John. Um, thank you all. Uh, June and I are glad to accept this award on behalf of ourselves, our community, and the countless others who've worked and toiled this land generation after generation without receiving recognition or reparations. The system of debt peonage for black farmers is still happening, and that's something we need you to be aware of. It's your call to action. We are deeply honored that public justice has chosen to recognize June and I's work of increasing the awareness of our plight. Everything we do is tied to everything we are, but for every single person in this room, our fight is your fight. It's like the old saying, take care of the least of us. Ain't nothing good gonna come to you until you do right by me, right? If we are, as a society, to, rec to correct any of the wrongs we see playing out so boldly today, just turn on your TV, walk outside, right? That's any of the problems that we see, mass inc or false incarceration, as we saw earlier, police brutality, voter rights, women's rights, health care, wealth inequities, climate change, the list goes on. We must look at the treatment of black rural communities. Working together is the only way we'll correct these wrongs. Start with black farmers. And speaking of working together, we want to thank God, our family and friends who continue to support us through all our hardships. We have to thank our attorneys, George, Matt, Rachel, and Bill. But we want to give a special thanks to a man I call my parent. <laughs> and that he is, has been a mentor to us uh, beyond just being our attorney. And I think that's what made us successful in the fight, is that Andrew's mentorship and friendship made him family for us. And I have to give a special thanks to Joni, because behind every great man is an even greater woman. And so I have to thank them for their hospitality, their love. And I also have to thank folks like John Boyd, who have been on the front lines fighting this for years. And I'm going to stop hogging this mic, and I'm going to let you talk. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you again, John Boyd. It means a lot that you were able to give this award to us. Thank you to the public justice. 
please continue the fight. Through your good work and others, I hope we can increase the number of young and black and brown farmers. And for us to reach our goals, we need more equity in agriculture. It's so rewarding, I can talk about playing in the dirt for hours, literally hours. By the end of the night, I can let you know how to plant sugarcane. Y'all all will know. So, but I must acknowledge our story isn't isolated. The number of black farmers are dwindling every day, and that's scary. But have empathy. I ask you to plant a seed and watch how satisfying it is to see that seed sprout. That is a sense of hope, and hope is what drives us. So we'll continue to make our voices heard until change is made. Again, we thank you all, and we're so proud of this award. Thank you. Thank you.